something surprising come out of them, uh, especially in this first game, because it is that blind pick. If they manage to catch Method off guard with their comp choice, that could work out really well for them. But we are about to find out. The game is just about to start. We have loaded into Nagrand Arena. And they're going with the Feral Druid uh, and the Enhancement Shaman. Well, Feral Druid enhanced Holy Paladin coming out from Panda Gaming. And interesting, the Frost Mage Shadow Priest Holy Paladin, known as Shatter Play Composition, pop popular last expansion and very popular throughout time, really, as a, a good combo for double caster. Yeah, No Life are known as one of the best mages in the game at this composition. Traditionally playing with Zuniaki now. Frosty, of course, coming in. The Hex going out onto Frosty very early on. Nice CC coming out from Panda Gaming. The full Hodge out onto Chaz as well. He's, he's taking a little bit of damage. Keycat and Doe going to be doing a, quite a bit of damage with this Feral Druid and this Enhancement Trauma. The Bloodlust coming out as well. Full Sheep going out onto Saji, though. No Life are doing an excellent job with that initial crowd control. But so far, Panda Gaming, no one's really taking too much damage. Yeah, Pcat is going to be the target here for Method. They're going to try to get him down. He only has two survival instincts, and that's going to be it. They're going to be able to stun him and take him down. Meanwhile, they're going to be looking to spread pressure throughout No Lifers, Health Bar, Frosty, and Chaz throughout the game with that Feral Druid DPS. Yeah, Pcat taking quite a bit of damage. The Glacial Spike coming in from No Lifer. Pcat should be able to get topped off here uh, by Saji, but Saji also rotting down to around 50% HP. That is going to be the survival instincts coming out from Pcat. He needs to be careful. Panda Gaming just playing in the open, and that really plays to the strengths of this composition that Method is running right now. Uh, as uh, this game goes further and further on, they might need to consider going to a pillar to avoid some of this incoming damage. Yeah, Saji actually sitting in Polymorph Zone. He needs to get out of the open. He needs to avoid CC at all costs because Method is really good at getting CC on the healer. So he needs to be behind that pillar, making sure he's out of line. He's doing a good job right now. He has his Avenging Crusader up getting damage. And Method just taking tons of damage. That spread pressure from PCAT really coming into play here. Yeah, he's doing an unbelievable amount of damage. He does not have that survival instincts up, though. So he could be in a little bit of trouble. Bloodlust coming out. Frosty down to around 40% HP. Chaz does have some defensive cooldowns to keep them up, still blessing and protection. Does have that bubble as well as that sacrifice available. So Method, although they're low, they still have those cooldowns uh, to fall back on. Yeah, and Chaz does not have his wings available right now. So if they can get something going in the next 35 seconds, that's their window. They need to get that dispersion, that ice block, that bubble. They need to get something going here. Otherwise, they're going to start falling behind. There's a silence on the Saji. Pcat taking a ton of damage. He has no more walls left, sitting at 15%. Saji needs to get some heals on him. He has a Venti Crusader, but he's out of range. He's trying to get over to Nodal and get some heals out. It's going to be enough. He's sitting at 5%. He's trying to get some heals. Off. He's trying to get away. He doesn't know where to go right now. He's trying to stop the catchers. He is going to live. There is a full fear though on the Saji. He has his bubble available. He decides to sit it. He decides to bubble light to get out of the Good decision to be able to top his teammate off here. Yeah, a little bit of a close call there coming out from Saji. Very, very interesting choice. He is going to be using that bubble. He has no more defensive cooldowns left. Frosty though getting low as well. If Method can hold on just a little bit longer, Panda Game is going to be in a lot of trouble. Saji down to around 40% as well. Frosty pushing in. He wants to get some damage out onto him as well. No life for down to around 10% HP. Chaz does have his wing up though he's gonna be in, able to empower his heals uh, right now panda gaming is completely fine the bloodlust coming out as well they're trying to get that damage out the full hacks out onto Chaz. no life are not gonna be able to dispel it frosty does not have that dispersion available as well it's gonna be big trouble for him Chaz is that bubble gonna be spamming out those heals the best he can yeah, there's the wings from Chaz. He's able to top his team up here, but once that falls, they're going to be in huge trouble. Pcat's able to do so much damage to this team, and as soon as that Lust comes up, they could be in trouble. There is a Hodge, though, on the Saji. They're doing a ton of damage to Saji, actually. He's going to be able to get away. I don't think that's the right choice going for him. They should be keeping on to Pcat, because he's the one they've been doing so well on the entire game. He's sitting at half right now. There's the Avenger Crusader, but no, a Polymorph on the Saji. Pcat doing the right thing and running away, but they need to get something going here. Chaz's wings are down. Yeah, Chaz using a lot of mana uh, in this exchange down to around 40% right now. As this game goes further and further, that could be uh, a win condition for uh, Panda Gaming. Uh, I really like that Pcat realized the situation. He pulled away. He still has a Survival Instincts charge. It's going to be a big defensive cooldown, but no life for getting swapped to using that Temporal Shield as well. Getting dangerously low. He doesn't have Ice Block available. Uh, trying to get up that Glacial Spike. Trying to do everything he can to counter punch. So the Glacial Spike is actually going to get grounded there. Uh, Saji um, down to around 50% HP, but he is able to get uh, behind the pillar. He's going to be able to top himself off for now. And Panda Gaming is going to be sitting pretty. Yeah, I'm not sure about this target choice coming from Method EU. They're going on Asaji, the healer. He's getting down the pillar and able to top himself off. Meanwhile, Pcat is just rampaging their team. They're going to be in trouble soon. They do have that Wings coming up in 30 seconds, but there's a full hex on a Chaz. Frosty may have to use Dispersion here. He's getting attacked by both players. He does end up using it, and they're having a lot of trouble getting pressure onto Panda Gaming. Yeah, Chaz does not have that bubble up for another four minutes. He needs to hold on just a little bit longer for his Wings. No life for no ice block for four minutes. So Method in a lot of trouble here. No more defensive cooldowns to sort of rotate. 
rotate through. Panda Gaming doing an excellent job so far. Doe getting swapped to, though, the full Hodge out onto him. Can he uh, get out of it? Does look like the full fear is going to be put onto Saji. Doe going to get some heals out of that. The sound so coming out from uh, Frosty onto Saji as well. The bash going out onto Frosty. Hodge onto Chaz. A lot of damage coming in from Panda Gaming once again. This is very back and forth so far. No life are going to be pulling into the middle of the map, doing an excellent job, making sure he's kiting, avoiding some of that incoming damage from Doe as well as PCAT. Uh, but this is looking really good for Panda Gaming. Yeah, and there's a full poly onto Saji here. Doe has his bloodlust. There's the incarnation as well from PCAT, but he's not able to get much done because it's countered by the wings of Chaz. So big momentum shift here from Method. They need to get more CC going onto Saji. They haven't really had too many fears. There's actually a bop going out on the Chaz to make sure he, he's able to top himself up. And these hexes are really killing Method here. He's getting them constantly. They're not locking him out. This could just be the game. No lifers in a lot of trouble. Chaz into that full hex right now. Nothing available. No ice lock. Is he going to go down? Man, the gaming trying to do everything they can. The Counter Strike totem coming in as well. Method needs to make sure that they get that down. Dampening has just kicked in. No lifers is going to be pulling away. Gets the full sheep out onto Saji as well. Wants to get that damage out. Excellent job by No Life. Uh, in the, the midst of death, making sure he still plays aggressive, but this could just be it. Doe and PCAT reconnecting over onto him. Chaz doing everything he can. Needs to hold on just a little bit longer for that sacrifice, but No Lifer is going to get topped off. Well done by Chaz and No Lifer. Yeah, they were split up for so long, and they knew that he wasn't going to take damage. They're a really impressive play coming out from Method, but they haven't had their damage going. They actually have found it now. Doe dropping down to half HP, but they haven't been consistent with it. They need to get constant bursts going out. They need to get CC going on Asaji. He's going to be able to top his team up here, and again, there's that full hex command that Chaz. He does have Trinket for this time. He does pop his sack as well to make sure no life does not die through this burst here. Yeah, but he has put in that Hodge. MD coming up from Frosty, though. Well done by Frosty. Realizing the situation, getting his healer out of that crowd control. He can be using his offensive cooldowns. Chaz down to 5% HP. A huge swap coming in from Panda Gaming. And Chaz <laughs> is going to go down. Unbelievable game. Panda Gaming drawing first blood in the series. Wow, what an incredible first game in this series. We were kind of talking about how Method was looking so strong and Panda Gaming was going to be kind of up against it, but the other thing we mentioned was that they have so many compositions.